Hi, I'm here today with Zahid from OutSystems uh, just to talk to him a bit about uh, the cloud and uh, Agile and uh, a few other things. So, Zahid, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Um, can you just give us a bit of background about yourself um, from, say, university years uh, to today and yeah. your current role? Absolutely. University just down the road, so I did a degree in computer science uh, and management at King's. And um, when I was at university, I didn't really know what field I wanted to go into, but there was a big, big drive by Accenture at the time. And I ended up um, doing an internship there, uh, which actually I spent the, my internship doing a piece for the Advanced Development Centre in India. So that was when they were just offshoring was starting to be something Accenture were playing with. And I think I fit the role of somebody to lead a small internal project from an offshore capacity to see if an intern could, could if it was easy enough for interns to even get projects delivered out there. And after that, really enjoyed my, my internship at Accenture. Um, and after that, um, finished my degree at King's and then went to work, work there for two years. However, while I was at university, I started up a small entertainment uh, company to feed my, fund myself through uni. It's a time when grants were being removed and I, I didn't have, the, I had to finance myself through. Mm -hmm. And when I came back to Accenture, it was 13 hours a day on, very, on projects that were always delayed behind schedule and being a, a cheap, cheap labour at the time for, mm -hmm. for what it was for Accenture, I had to find myself 13, 14 hours a day just coding away and realised mm. my heart was, you know, I, coding all day long just wasn't for me. It wasn't what I was best at and the music business that I had set up was starting to take off. So I, um, I left Accenture as I, um, after about two years and had a go at my own business, which I enjoyed, but I wasn't as good, as, good at running my own business as I thought I would mm. be. So fast forward a few years, I realised, okay, I've made no money in a number of years. I've got commitments that I need to make. What do I do? I like people. I like the entrepreneurial side of, of IT. So I find myself selling technology. And I came to a company called Silverpop, which were in fact acquired by IBM about eight weeks ago. Um, and I, I spent a bit of time there as a, as a sales individual, learning the ropes, understanding how people buy technology, what's important to them, what isn't, um, and then graduated to, to run European sales for them. And I left about so about 14 months ago we we were the most we, the european team at silverpot was the was the most successful in the business and my ex global svp of sales phoned me up he said how are you i said i'm well jeff how are you he said i'm good he says um how's things at silverpot so going really well i'm really enjoying myself he said that's great but you're resigning next week I said, what do you mean i'm resigning next week he said well you've always talked about wanting to to get into enterprise it and looking after an operation for an organization that wants to enter the uk market well, now's your time to put your money where your mouth is. You resign next week and you start in a month. And here I am, 13 months later, <laughs> at OutSystems. So what do OutSystems do then? I s essentially, what OutSystems do does is allowed, allows companies to build better software faster. And it really does that um, by providing a high productivity platform that allows you to build, manage and change applications up to three times faster than using traditional methods. So has your coding background mm -hmm. helped you understand with the people you're dealing with? Absolutely. I think, I think if I could, you know, there, there's three areas that I, I realised as a coder that I would really struggle with when developing applications in enterprise. And it goes back to when I was telling you Accenture, you know, really the, the three areas that I think that you as a developer need to, to, to really consider is, is productivity, right? I mean, Understanding that organisations now need to do more with the same resources. The burden on IT is so much greater for, for every organisation, um, yet they're not getting the same, it's not pro rata amount of resources. So just because you have to deliver more applications doesn't mean that you're going to get the same amount of resources. So you need to be very, very intelligent in how you, in, in, in how you deliver web applications. And that was a key thing that I learned as a developer. I just couldn't get those product, productive enough. And even the top developers were still working long hours, days and nights, trying to get, get applications to market on time within budget. And it was always a battle, it was always a struggle. So I, 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 you know, understanding that and realizing that something had to be done differently um, made thinking about our systems a lot easier. The other area is, is managing change. And I've seen this more. I mean, I was coding about 13 years ago, but in that time, what I've realized is that every application that you deliver needs to be changed even more. So it's, it's, the, it's not only the delivery of the application, but it's the maintenance, the enhancements, the change that businesses are demanding on IT so much more. And you have two options. You can end up like Kodak or Blockbuster by saying, well, we're a big company, we don't need to change your applications. Or you can start to be innovative. So thinking about managing change, what I realized is, is that that we need to, we as, a tech, as an organization, as an IT enterprise, IT organization, 
have to be able to deliver new methods, new vehicles for organisations to, to promote change. And going back to our systems, I think you know, the one thing that we do help is I think Gartner say 80% of a CIO's time is, is spent on keeping the lights on. What we want to try and do is flip that stat so where it's 80% is spent on new applications, new, new systems, and only 20% is spent on the existing. And then the third, the third area that really made me think about joining out systems for wanting to deliver a new way for IT to deliver applications is to do with innovation. You know, building things the way we have done in the past is not good enough anymore. I as a consumer demand that I see data on my phone or my tablet that I'm using now. You know, I want to be able to, I have, you have to be able to, to bring solutions to a market very, very quickly to respond to organisational change. And I think, you know, those skills are hard. I mean, when I was at university, I hadn't done half the modules that I require now to develop strong web applications, uh, 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 scalable and robust web, web applications. So how do you go about doing that? I think being able to provide that to an organization in a very non-proprietary way where it gives them freedom um, to, to build real enterprise web applications, that kind of, for me, was, was what I wanted to bring to the IT world. And that system seemed to, 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 to fit those four areas for me, and hence why, why, why I took the challenge. So, uh, what new innovations would you say that app systems have brought to the table in recent that's a, years? That's a very good question, actually. I think what it's actually thirteen years old. What we brought to the what we brought to the to the industry, but it's just taken a while. So, the word out systems comes from keeping things outside of your organisation, hence the cloud. So that was something that that we have considered for the last thirteen years, and it's only now it's coming to maturity. So, when you ask what do we bring to the table, it's a low code visual development environment that allows you to build enterprise web and mobile applications. So using our technology, um, I think what we're allowing organizations to do is, is not get so caught up in the in the non-functional requirements, the grunt work of will it compile, are these the right classes, where does this code run best, has this code been written in, 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 a, in, in, in a performant way. Think about the business that you as an IT professional are delivering for the organization. Understand the process, the logic, the interface, the usability, the data behind it to allow you to create these enterprise applications. And if you can abstract your mind away from having to think and put work, work on yourself as a coder by writing lines of code, I think you as a, as, a, as a developer will become far more successful. And I think I would have actually succeeded better as a developer if I had those tools available to me 13 years ago. So I think a reason I didn't enjoy developing is I was always frustrated that I couldn't give the business what they wanted. I was never good enough for the business. But when I think about it, I was a good coder. I mean, I've got a degree from a good university. I think the problem was not having the tools to deliver that. And I think that's what we're going to allow organisations to change. And the early adopters, the organisations that want to do different, different organisations that want to bring new innovative applications, you know, when Gartner talks about the pace layer model, those that want to sit on the differentiation and innovation layer is, is, is really where I think we're bringing new technology forward because you can really start to change what you're doing. And a good example of that is a client of ours actually, First Carbon. First Carbon Solutions recently signed a contract with us and um, a key problem for them was that they were just, they had, they had a team of developers that couldn't build applications that, that would have would need to react to business change. So they would take innovative applications from, from their clients that they would need to deliver. They weren't waterfall spec. They weren't the business didn't know everything they needed. They knew what they wanted to achieve. And being able to bring that sort of um, bringing a technology where you can manage change and build those applications very quickly, but then respond to the business's requirements has allowed them to be very, very successful. And it's that it's that, that we want to try and bring to the table.